ought to make you big and strong for the science fair. Okay, now open wide. Venus flytrap! Torrington, it is with great enthusiasm that I, Principal Pebbleton, invite you to step into the future <gasps> of salmon! Huh? It has digital dressing dispensers, hydraulic vegetable choppers, it even uses an algorithm to calculate crouton distribution! Salad? Is he kidding? This is a high school, as in burger paradise. No one here wants to eat salad. Oh, 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 me try. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, no one but the caveman. Java loves salad. No more meat for Java, only veggie tables. Whoa, big guy, give up the meat? You sure that's a good idea? I hate to agree with Martin here, but he might be right, Java. You've been a carnivore all your life. I don't know if going cold turkey on turkey is a good idea. Java, sure. Full-time veggie eater now. Oh, great. Now who's gonna come with me to the burger barn for their moo cluck oink buffet? Huh? Huh, sounds like lunch break is over. If Moth thinks I'm climbing in there... Whoa! <laughs> come on, Zai, it's fun! Yeah, if by fun, you mean totally humiliating. This new slide is way cooler than our usual boring entrance. <laughs> and way stickier. Hello, agents. Now let me be the first to say that I fully support Java's decision to go vegetarian. I myself enjoy having a fine selection of fruits and vegetables available at all times. Sweet setup! Hey, Billy, how's the farming? <laughs> <Come on! laughs> Billy! <laughs> <laughs> Plus, a vegetarian diet could help you tone up the old midsection. Hmm. Java no he half belly. Java blame pizza. Uh, specifically pepperoni bacon hamburger deep dish. Java's favorite. Focus, agents. Last night, a teenager named Christopher Duncan mysteriously disappeared on his way home from school. Mysteriously how? I'm afraid you'll have to see for yourself. <laughs> it's okay, we like a challenge. Right, Di? Right, Joff? Joff? <laughs> I said I approved of you becoming vegetarian. I didn't say help yourself to my garden. The last sighting of Christopher places him in this park. Oh. Hmm? oh! Java, we had a deal! You can use the swing set after we're done investigating. Huh? The grass is all gooey. 
And it's eating through my favorite sneakers! Hmm, it's some sort of acid, and it's dissolving the grass. Time for a slime scan. You watch activated. Slime scan selected. Analysis complete. Sample consists of digestive fluid from unknown carnivore. Not Java. Me vegetarian now. That's a lot of fluid. We must be talking about a seriously big carnivore. We should check to see if there's a circus in town, or if the local zoo is missing any animals. Not even close. First, there's no sign of a struggle. Second, Christopher disappeared without a trace. He would have had to have been eaten whole. Now, what kind of weird and crazy animal does that? Well, a snake for one. Huh. Right, huh. Didn't think of that. I'm sending this back to Billy for more analysis. Maybe he'll be able to tell us exactly what animal we're dealing with. Oh. Java find clue. What? Uh, deal it up, man. Property of the science department? <gasps> These are high school safety glasses. Wow, you are a nerd. <laughs> we'll send the glasses back for analysis, too. Oh, we should check out the local high school. After you, the caveman off the swings. Whoa. 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 Java! <laughs> Hello? Anybody home? Huh. Classes must be out for the day. You know what that means. We need to come back tomorrow? Nah, it means it's time for an after-school snack, and I'm buying! What are you doing? The surprise makes it sweeter. Hey, Jay, it's your lucky day. I got you a turkey jerky. Java likes sunflower seeds. <laughs> You know, Job, if you stay a vegetarian, they're gonna take away your caveman card or something. Come on! We're coming! Locked! Java, you try! Sorry. Something bad's happening in there. No kidding! <laughs> What you see? A seriously cute girl in trouble. Perfect. Back in a sec. Hurry! <sighs> Come on in. Looks like we missed the party. What happened in here? It was like this when I got in. Messy and monster free. <laughs> Smells tasty. It smells like the perfume counter at the mall. Hey, Di, unless snakes can climb up brick walls and open windows, I'm pretty sure your theory is shot. Unless, of course, it's a flying were snake. Hmm. What's going on here? I heard screams. Uh, I'm Art Mystery. Uh, this is Diana Lombard and Java. We're investigating the disappearance of Christopher Duncan, and I guess the girl who was in here. I'm Mrs. Bronson. This is my science lab. I left Sharon here while I went to do some paperwork in the office. Sharon? One of my students. I can't believe she's gone. Just like Christopher. Christopher was one of your students too? They were both working so hard on their projects. Projects? Yes. The school science fair is tomorrow. Then that's something they both have in common. The science fair. Why would a flying wear snake want to eat science fair students? There's way more meat on the football team. Hmm. Try again, Martin. It's obvious. Uh, he wants to be king of the geeks? Not quite. Someone stole his role-playing game? Uh-uh. I know! His virtual girlfriend told him to do it! No! Someone's taking out all the science fair competition because they're desperate to win! We need a list of all the students entered in the science fair. Huh. <sighs> When I win that science fair prize, I'm going to be the most popular kid in school. Oh, oh man. Well, that's just great. 
There's no way I can fit you in Mom's station wagon now. I'm gonna need a new science fair project. Maybe I can do something on mobile. <laughs> Okay, calm down. It's just a plant. It can't chase you. Just get to the door. Well, Max Elway isn't home. We'd better move on. He might be another were snake victim. Or he might be out at the movies. You know, where were snakes come from. Mmm, <laughs> smells like tasty plant. It's that same flowery smell from the classroom. You're right. Oh, this is big. Follow your nose, Java. Lunch. Uh, wait. Listen. Stand back! It's in the drum! Ready? Ready! Hi! Hey. Help! Giant plant! Oh, hold on a sec. Giant plant? Where? In there? Mm -hmm. Cool! Wait, no! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Hungry? Me not that hungry. Okay, you're scary. We get it. Java! It's my favorite caveman! You want activated. X rod selected. I think it's a Venus flytrap. More like a Java caveman trap. It was supposed to be my science project. Well, if it was up to me, I'd give you first place. Hey guys, I got the result of that slime scan. It seems the acid goo wasn't just a fluid from a carnivorous animal, but from a carnivorous plant. You don't say. Ooh, that's the plant, but that thing is huge. <laughs> Billy! Oh no! <laughs> okay, if we're gonna take this walking vegetable down, we need some info. First, how did it grow so big? I gave it some super protein powder. Really? Do you have any left? I'm trying to bulk up myself. <sighs> it's not only bigger, but way more aggressive. It's taking out all your science fair competition. You watch activated. Legend X selected. Let's see what the Legend X has to say about Venus flytraps. Legend X? Oh, um, it's like an encyclopedia. It was a prize in a, a cereal box. That must have been quite the cereal. It says here that Venus flytraps live in moist bogs where they eat insects and slowly dissolve them in digestive fluids. Which means we need to catch that plant and get Billy out of its belly pronto! But where it go? Well, if I was a three-story tall man-eating angry Venus flytrap, I know where I'd want to be. The science fair! Come on! I was gonna say all you can eat night down at the pizza shack, but that's pretty good too. The science fair has really brought people out. We've got a brainiac factor of at least seven and a half, wouldn't you say, Joff? Me like brainiacs. Well, we're gonna have a monster factor of ten unless we get in there. <sighs> Come on! Every 
everything looks so normal. Where's our bad guy? Maybe it decided not to crash the science fair after all. Bulk up after all. <laughs> okay, back to the gym for me. Sorry for being vegetarian. <laughs> Important enough to that thing. It has to have some kind of weakness. Wait, Mrs. Bronson, a Venus flytraps live in bogs, right? They need lots of water to grow. What if we dried it out? That might work. All plants need water, and they normally get water through their roots. But its roots are off the ground. It's not getting any water right now. It may not be a good idea or a safe idea, but it's all we have. <laughs> What are you looking for? This. I hope nobody minds if I borrow it. If your plan works, I'll make sure it gets an A. So now what do we do? Get up close and personal with Mr. Green. No. I think I can help with that. Java no like ride. Java want off. a little too well.
for that. I don't think it's going to be eating anyone else anytime soon. Congratulations on a job well done, team. Now all that's left is containment and cleanup, and a few hundred memories to erase. After that, why don't you all come back to the center for a vegetarian feast? Huh, sounds good to me. No way. Plant's too dangerous. Java stick with nice, safe, raw meat. Me too. After being eaten by a plant, I know how they must feel. Come on, Jav. Let's get a steak. Or maybe just a few dozen cheeseburgers. Uh-huh. Uh, hold the lettuce. <laughs> <laughs>